Thank you, Britain. A solution could be on the horizon for those who use Mineral Wells Crossing near Cristoval, which is unusable when harsh weather strikes. But what could that solution be? Ethan Purcell spoke with one of the residents who uses the crossing and has more. Not much has changed at Mineral Wells Crossing since early September, except for a drop in the water level. But behind the scenes, movement is being made on a solution for when the weather takes its toll. I'm not going to sit back on my haunches and be separated from my family or let my neighbors be separated from their family. Since September 9th, Connor, who was separated from his children for 36 hours due to the washed out crossing, has been the spokesperson for the residents who rely on the crossing. Their solution is an application for eminent domain, which would force the landowner who closed access to nearby Kenley Lane to sell property to the county. Eminent domain is not what anybody wants, period. But that's the only way to guarantee that nobody can deprive us of our right to access our land, our family, if something happens again. Connor brought the application to Commissioner's Court on Tuesday, but the Precinct 4 Commissioner won't support eminent domain and is still pushing for a new structure. Engineering and survey of the area has already begun. Installing a, a bridge, an all-weather bridge across the river, the South Concho River there, I believe will be the quickest solution to relieve that situation. While Connor says that construction of a new bridge will close off access to the crossing, Nanny believes a new structure can be built just south of the existing one, allowing people to come and go freely while the new bridge is being constructed. In big metropolitan areas, they're building overpasses right next to a busy interstate, so I, I know it can be done. Connor says he was disappointed the application only brought discussion at Commissioner's Court and no action. He adds the only other option is for some agreement to be made with the landowner to open access to Kenley Lane in times of need. But until they can do that, until we can be safe, I feel like this is our only route. Both Connor and Nanny say that they won't stop until a solution is found for this problem. At Mineral Wells Crossing, Ethan Purcell, Fox West, Texas.